All right, I am going to record this. I'm upstairs right now, and then I'm going downstairs. And you probably heard a click. That was my coffee. I was closing my coffee. So I am getting tired of not having a, not having a good connection to live stream. So we're going to get at least a 10 at 10, the recorded version, and then I will post it to YouTube, and then I will copy the link to Facebook. So good morning. It's uh, not 10 at 10. It is like 10.50, and I'm recording this to post up on the top. Um, yeah, so a couple of scheduling things. We worship on Sunday, so looking forward to that. Um, we got a graduation this weekend, and then L graduated, I think, yesterday, and Joey graduates tomorrow. We've got other graduations that are happening, exciting stuff. We're going to lift up some people in prayer, all of that. So the psalm for Sunday is Psalm 130. So I'm going to read that. You're going to hear it for the first time on Wednesday, today, and then we will... Um, I'll pray and we'll move into the day. There's a couple of people that I want to lift up in prayer, and then we will move into the day. All right, Psalm 130. This is uh, for the Lectio Divina. It is, you're listening for a word or a phrase that rise up for you. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let my ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should work if you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than those who watch for the morning, more for those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is great power to redeem. It is he who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. So that is the psalm. I'm going to read it through again. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. And then I'm going to pray, move into the day, and then I'll upload this. I'm going to slow it down. I'm really anxious today. I've got a lot of that this is going on and just stuff that's just buzzing. So I thought this is a good way to get this up here. All right, slow it down, John Stevens. Slow it down. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in his word I have hope. My soul waits for the Lord. More than those who watch for the morning. More than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is great power to redeem. It is he who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. So that is Psalm 130. What is a word or a phrase that rises up for you? For me, and it's hard not to have it rise up, is more than those who watch for the morning, because the psalmist, it is so important to the psalmist that they write it twice, more than those who watch for the morning. It's when your watch shift is over, and you're watching for the sun to rise. So, all right, I'm going to bring up a prayer, and then we are going to pray for, let me find Michael Collins' prayer. Where are you, Pastor Collins? There you are. All right, here's the prayer, and then we'll lift up some, lift up, folks. The tables of your grace, Lord, await us, and you extend your welcoming hand. You invite us to follow your lead, to walk the path, to place our trust and hope in you. 
feed us along the way that we may taste mercy, compassion, kindness, and love, an abundance of your presence, and that we may be filled. May our lives be a witness to you everywhere we go. Gracious God, today we lift up Jared. We place his health concerns into your hands that you would wrap him and his loved ones closely. We pray for continued healing for Lori. Give thanks for a successful surgery. We pray for Loretta. We ask for continued healing for her. We pray for George. We pray for Peter. And we ask that you would continue to be with Paula as well as you wrap your loving arms around them. There are many people that rest in our hearts, God, and we know that you hear them when we say the words, the Spirit intercedes for us with sighs too deep for words to express. You hear the prayers of our groans and our cries. We pray for all of this in your Son's name. Amen. All right, my friends, be reminded that nothing separates you from the love of God found in Christ Jesus, not height or depth not the angelic or the demonic, not the things of yesterday or the fears about tomorrow. Nothing separates you from the love of God found in Christ Jesus. Amen. All right. May your day be full of joy. May you be gentle on yourself. It's a reminder I'm, I'm basking in today. And may you have experiences that you can share kindness with strangers. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm hoping I get this figured out, but here we are. I'm going to upload that, and then I'm going to work on the network stuff. So peace. Have a wonderful day.